Hello, welcome to Future News for September 22nd, 2081. I'm Zip Zap Zong. Due to cutbacks, Future News will not be seen tonight. Instead, enjoy a rerun of the hit cooking show, Microwave Minute. Microwave in your kitchen. It's just sitting there, why don't you use it? Microwave. Damn, microwave. I'm gonna cook with you. Don't you know I like to hack a butter too when I'm cooking? Some of my favorite buttons on a microwave include power and defrost, cook, six, and five. Just makes me feel warm inside when I sit extremely close to it. And I no, I do not think it has affected my my genetics. But I like the way the plates turn. I just I just like cooking with microwaves. It's, it's in my blood. Now it'd be time for us to give you some of our microwave recipes. Hi, I'm Chuck. And I'm Hank. Welcome to Microwave Minute. Alright, so today on Microwave Minute, we're going to be making up some microwave panzerottis. <laughs> the microwave has been around for many years, and we don't know how it came to be, but it is a tool we use to cook our food. Now what we have here is the ingredients for the dough. We have breadcrumbs, we have flour, mayonnaise, nutmeg, and salt. Don't forget the extra virgin olive oil. So what you got here is a race against time. It's a game of speed and agility. When you're making dough, what you gotta do is you gotta come across and you gotta move pups. You gotta do stuffs. And what you most likely gotta do is you gotta pull nutmeg. That can be a good pick. A little bit of that. Mix it all up. Now you put it in the microwave. Now you just microwave on high for 30 to 35 minutes. Now, when the microwave is finished, you got yourself some homemade dough. Now you can't just want the dough, you gotta need it. Chuck, what we got in the fridge? We got mushrooms, pickles, and cheese whiz. Sounds okay to me. <laughs> Next, you have the ingredients. First, you gotta make a big pocket hole. You have a mile of dough. And then you have mushrooms. Mushrooms, you gotta have your cheese. A little bit of cream cheese, never hurt anybody. But then cream cheese is cheese whiz. It's <laughs> the part of when you get cheese whiz. And then you got a little bit of the pizza sauce. Now, pizza sauce can't ever go too skimpy on, so you gotta load up on the pizza sauce. And full. You gotta be very careful when you're folding this rat hair. You gotta be careful because it's like folding a prison. Prison for a little king. You won't want any pizza sauce on the king's present, do you? Now, you take your newly created pins of rat hair and you place it in the microwave. And you apply the popcorn function. Woo, yeah, that smells good. I can't wait to get me some microwave panzerati. <laughs> And that got going there, microwave panzerati. Stay tuned next week where we're going to be whipping up some marshmallow fajitas. I'm Hank. And I'm Chuck. See you next week. Let's eat. Well, that is some good panzerati. You can really taste the nutmeg. You can really taste the nutmeg. What did we use? It was black. Yeah, hey, that's my mole. When dealing with the sophistication of the microwave object that we have on here on our right. <laughs>